okay, I am to report this. I have to have my ears plugged. I never am ever allowed to report this sort of stuff and things. And since I am reporting this incident, it is fair for me to be able to say, which I am allowed to say, everything's very strict, that this incident is not the first and it has been far more scary incidences like this, okay? But I can't talk anymore about them. So they were working under the floors, under my floorboards for an hour and 40 minutes. And I heard the whole thing. They were trying to be quiet. It was the Latin drug cartel that is surrounding this area in their fake gimmick construction sites. And they are also encamped in these fake gimmick row houses. Okay. They're hired on by the United States and they're hired on by Vladimir Putin as a mercenary military paramilitary. All right. So, um, they came back in and they were under the floors dragging the whole stuff that I've described over the course of years when I was allowed here and there to talk about the floors at all. They're just working down there and it's best I don't get into details anymore at all about the floors, okay? Just say working in quotes, it was preposterous and astounding. And they were trying as hard as they could to be so, so quiet. Big job, took quite a while to do almost two hours and I heard very clearly a great deal of it because I was laying down in my bed for an hour of it then I got up and then I laid back down after 10 minutes for safety reasons and I couldn't talk or watch tv this sort of thing I'm sheltering in place which is I cannot talk about why and um I went back down and they were finishing up the job working quote unquote making very clear working sounds And at that point, I witnessed uh, one of them be killed. This is by the good military came in and assassinated the terrorist trying to blow me up in my bed. I heard that kill loud and clear. No doubt it was a kill. And then after that, the kill was rather covert because the good military is very smart. You have to have your head on the ground and, you know, hear it and be near it and stuff. So after that, this Latin drug cartel mercenaries buddies. There was one up in the third floor and there was one up on 1507 that got killed. So they, the good guys took them out all at the same time, which I am allowed to talk about. Um, so within a matter of two minutes, three Latin drug cartel mercenaries were killed and I heard every kill. I heard the one upstairs, boom, boom. Okay, and yeah, you hear the kill, and I will describe these kills. I I don't know what else to call them, so bear with me um, in detail at another time. And then, like, within one minute after the one upstairs in floor three, there was one in 1507, like, on the roof, or there, they got themselves kind of up there by the bathroom. Anyways, they were st- that one started to knock on the wall. And I'm allowed to talk about this. The knocking on the wall is like what I put up on the video a while ago about how they're knocking on the walls, deep in the walls. Boom, 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 boom. It started with the white counter uh, half of theirs, which was the Russian military, before they got blown up by the real Russian military. When I started to say, watch what's happening in Russia, it's, it's historical. Those individuals who were enlisted were with Vladimir Putin trying to attack Russia with this country of the United States. They're trying to attack. Okay, so it's it's aiding and abetting in Russia's uh, definition, just like ours with a foreign enemy. Okay, so Vladimir Putin's in a world of deep shit with his military that got blown up there. It's all these bases. So during that time, before the good guys started striking the living shit out of Russia, which they're still doing it now, I, I'm pretty sure they are. I, I, I'm not going to sit here and say what their schedule is. But um, 
there was a lot of white Russian neo-Nazis with their counterparts who are Latin drug cartel. This Latin drug cartel is willing to involve themselves and engage in ethnic cleansing. Their motive and their reason was for lots of money to have a uh, strong arm dictatorship that allowed them to take power and have some some huge aspect of narcotics huge narcotic aspect to that and that's how they draw drew in so many triad but triad like i've said on my account for six years and the cartel are jack and jill triad and the cartel are jack and jill this is on my account left and right but i'm not going to go back into the same material i really can't so i witnessed today which i'm allowed to talk about not russian ones doing it and these are Russian terrorists. These are Russian former military. They're not Russian military. The Russian, the country of Russia has control over their military now, no matter what Putin wants to put on TV. Okay. I heard their counterparts, the Latin drug cartel in the house, doing the same stuff and things they were taught by these former military men. Pounding on the walls. Boom, 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 boom. So once the one was killed by the good guys in the kitchen, within one minute, the good guys took the other one out in the murder room. That was uh, the room that's over my, you know, that room. Okay, the murder room. So here we go to be clear so I don't confuse the public. One went down, assembling the bomb right under my fucking pillow. I heard it. Okay, they took him out. It was rather quiet, but you could hear it if you were in the vicinity. Then they took the other one out within a minute upstairs. Boom, boom, two down. Then they took the other one out right after he started knocking on the wall. The one on floor three before he was killed knocked. He went knock, knock, knock on the wall in the room. There's an area where they're knocking, and I, I couldn't report any of this. They, they have certain spots they knock. I kind of said it one time recently, but I can't talk about anything here I'm clutching my ears plugged just to try to hold a train of thought the city's lost and it's going to be destroyed okay so let me just repeat this to be clear and thank you for bearing with me they took the one out down there okay that was clear you could hear it The one on floor three before it was killed went knock 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 like knocking to signal up there on an area that I can't really talk about. I heard it loud and clear. My heart was racing. I was like, what is going on here? I started to get scared. It's very frightening to anyone in my situation. And then that one got killed. You hear it. And then the other one in response to the one that just got killed, didn't know its friend or its It's not friend. These men are very evil. It didn't know that his partner had been killed in bomb assembly, trying to blow people up in their bed on floor three or floor one. And it began to knock too in response to the one that had just knocked in the murder room. And this one knocked on the side of the house of 1507, way up by the, the bathroom area of floor three or over there on that side of the compound of this 1509. And it went boom, 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 boom. Boom, and it's really creepy shit they're doing, okay? We'll describe it later. And then within three seconds of that, that one fucking got killed and all this stuff came flying down the side of the the house. Sometimes they're throwing things. The Hezbollah taught this crowd that. The Islamic radical Muslim terrorists taught them to throw things off the roofs, smack things on roofs, but I can't get into that right now. And that's what's going on here is that crowd is around with the Latin drug cartel and they're getting taken out. The jihads and the Latin drug cartel. It's it's complicated, okay? Saudi Arabia's drug runners, okay? So they have a lot of cartel still loyal to them. And then there's these other radical Muslim actual terrorists who are religiously driven, who do not like any of this here and do not want prostitutes and homosexuals 
ordering them around. They still believe that they are infidels. I am not against homosexuals. I'm not trying to blow up gay pride parades. But that's who really started this joint. That's who had the mastermind of the chemical weapons. There's a big, big problem here with everybody taking this shit over. Okay, I don't, that's when I say I don't know what's going on because I don't always know who the fuck is running around in these cubby holes. But I'll tell you the ones that took out the one that was making the bomb under my bed and making the bomb on floor three and then the one that was working with it in the bathroom up there somewhere. That was the good guys. Took them all out in a matter of, fuck, three minutes, okay? I'm allowed to say that, but I'm not allowed to really talk about anything else here. Goodbye. And that was a while ago that that happened. Goodbye.